Did you hear that the inner core by Trash Paint is actually coming out? You mean like in a plastic that doesn't equally function as a bowl? Yeah, like soon. Sounds interesting. What's up, YouTube fam? Robbie C here. You might have heard some traffic going around the old interwebs that Jesse at Trash Panda is releasing his first official disc, the Inner Core, soon to the public. Now, thankfully, we've been friends with Jesse for a long time here on the channel, and we have gotten to experience many versions of the prototype of this disc, including my favorite cereal bowl, the cookies and cream version of the butter. Now, Jesse's been working around the clock to make sure that he gets the plastic in the right feel so that it feels great in your hands, goes in the basket, and you know, just does all the things disc golf discs are supposed to do. But with the real version of the inner core coming out, we have to ask the honest question that the internet should be asking, which is, how does it fly? Thankfully, Jesse put out a video answering nine questions that you guys have asked about the inner core. But let's be real, this is the internet. And Jesse is a bit biased when it comes to the inner core because he made it. We're gonna play nine holes ourselves, answer nine real questions in a real way. Happy to let you guys know how it actually flies. So I'm gonna finish this special K, grab those special discs, and head out and shoot you guys a special video. See you on hole one. Let's Let's start off with an easy one. Who or what is Trash Panda? That's quite simple. Trash Panda is a nickname affectionately given to raccoons, part of the family or genus Procyon. It is an incredible animal that offers, sorry, that's probably not the Trash Panda that you're referring to. Trash Panda is a company started by Jesse, who's not from genus Procyon, but actually from genus family in California. You know Jesse is the guy who lives in Colorado. Jesse started a business in his garage trying to make fully recycled discs. He posted his first video to YouTube on June 5th, 2020, and the dream was born. Jesse and the Trash Panda team have come a long way since then, and the goal, which is probably why most of you clicked on this video, has been achieved. The inner core is here. Need a little stability out of this first hole, so uh, we're gonna go meat hook. First hole for the video, we're getting loose. I'm gonna let it rip, hit a big bird to start. That'd be something sick. Told ya, something sick. Whoop, whoop, whoop. How did I meet Jesse? Well, if I'm being honest, it was entirely in the hands of Jesse himself. Like I said, Jesse's first video was on June 5th of 2020, and my first video was in March of 2020. So we really started to get going around the same time, and in December of 2020, Jesse reached out and asked if we could hop on the phone for a little bit. So in my classic unorganized fashion, we actually hopped on the phone in January of 2021. We spent over two hours on the phone together that night, and I really felt like Jesse was one of my long lost brothers. In fact, while discussing our goals for Trash Panda and Robbie C Disc Golf, he actually asked me if I ever thought that I'd do this full time. And I laughed out loud in his face and said, there's no way I'd ever do this full time. Uh, it's like, it's never gonna take off like that. But Jesse is the dreamer who's doing his best to grow the sport sustainably and has always seen the future of this sport in mind while also trying to blaze a trail and how to save our planet at the same time. Jesse is one of the most genuine people that I've ever met in my life. And I am so grateful to see the success coming his way for Trash Panda as a whole. All right, 272 the basket. Not gonna throw from the tea pack because there's water all over it and that would be a proper yoinks. Here we go. This one's for you, Jesse. Now I'm gonna be 100% transparent with you guys. I brought out my special versions or OG versions of what the inner core has become, but I won't be using them a ton in this video because, well, They're like super hard, and uh, I am not looking to try and break my putter, especially when I have a piece of history out in front of you. And we're also not gonna be playing this like in a straight up version of uh, nine straight holes because we're trying to get an ace if I'm being 100% honest. Which takes us to our third question, how does the plastic feel? I have had the honor of being able to hold the inner core in lots of its different plastic versions, including the super hard OG like prototypes, up to when he started messing around with the cookies and cream swirls, which was still pretty rough. Down to what is going to be the initial stock run that comes in the TPU plastic. How do I know it's TPU plastic? Because it literally says it right here on the bottom of the disc because 
it's recyclable. If I had to say what this plastic feels like, it is definitely a premium plastic and it feels incredibly similar to Star and yet somehow this is fully recyclable and Star plastic is not fully recyclable. Bringing the question that Jesse is allowed to ask on his channel, but we certainly can ask as the average disc golf consumer, if you can make fully recyclable plastic that feels this good, why is every company not doing it? It's crazy how good it feels and because my OGs are brittle and rare, I am probably not gonna be throwing them for the rest of the video. So yeah, they're just gonna be here for the ride. With plastic that feels this amazing in the hand, about the only reason a trash panda disc would not make my bag is if the flight of it doesn't fit something that I already need. 258 feet, we go up, then we go down on this tee box, which is a little jank, but hey, disc golf is disc golf and I'll take it any day of the week. So straight, <laughs> just so straight. It's just like, dude, come on, get in the basket. That's how it be. Trash panda in our car. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hole four, fourth question. Hit him with something hard. How does it fly? And that answer is pretty interesting and also depends on where you're at in the world throwing. At elevation with Jesse, it is an incredibly neutral flyer that is just super point and shoot. But down here at sea level, it's a little more on the understable side, but I'm not calling it flippy by any means. You can't just throw it lazily flat and think it's gonna turn over for you every time. And you also can't throw it on hyzer every time and expect it to stand up. Especially as a slower speed putter, I would be willing to bet that it actually flies pretty close between the two, possibly a tick more over stable for Jesse up in the mountains. And why not showcase that here with a turnover line? If I believe this thing to be super understable, then I could just throw it flat right up there and know that it would turn over. But like I said, it's not a naturally understable disc. I would still consider this extremely neutral, which is one of my favorite parts about it that we'll get into in the next hole after I ace this. See, it still had some fight at the end, which is pretty sick. Ooh, little leaner outer with the, uh, that there thorny bushes right there. That'd be a real bummer. Guys, it's too easy. But let's talk about like why I love this disc. Well, if you thought today's video was just gonna be all about how much I love Trash Panda and the inner core, don't worry. We're still here for some teaching for you too. When I do in-person lessons, I often do not let people throw their own discs because I truly believe that people, rather than knowing what their form looks like, get used to throwing certain discs a certain way, especially as newer or amateur players. So if I hand you a bag that you don't know what those discs fly like, then it often can lead to me seeing what your true form looks like, which is where the inner core shines. The current disc that I use in my lessons and my personal field work, really just a measure to show me what I'm doing right and wrong in my throw, is the XT Nova by Innova. When I first called Jesse and talked to him about the flight of this disc, I thought that it flew very similar to a Pure by Latitude 64, but the more that we looked at it and the more I threw it side by side, I think it lands perfectly between the Latitude 64 Pure and the Innova Nova. If I had to be even more blunt, I would say that it flies like a premium plastic Nova without that underhand feel that you get from the overmold of the XT Nova. So for me, after the release of this disc, all the lessons I teach, I'm gonna be teaching with the inner core because it feels awesome, it has a great impact on the world around us, and it does a great job of teaching players what they're doing right and wrong in their throw. Right, it's only 150 feet, we're gonna go for that turnover line because, you know, that seemed to uh, get that dial in the last hole. Here we go, yo yo. Come on. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was it. I mean, I said I wasn't gonna use it for the rest of the video, but like when they land this close, I just feel like you gotta, you know, like. Oh, I thought that was it. We've talked flight, we've talked plastic, we've talked Jesse, we've talked bromance. What else do we have left? Oh yeah, who is this disc for? If I'm being straight up with you, man, not from a sales pitch, because I don't get any benefits from this, everybody. You're gonna see on the last two holes of this video that we can actually stretch this thing out to get some pretty fantastic distance because it has a ton of glide on it, but it also is incredibly neutral, which makes it respond well to hitting whatever line you wanted to hit. So for a newer player, it's going to be a great feedback tool as well as an easy way to start getting some distance. And for the more experienced player, it is an incredibly neutral and workable disc that you can just throw flat and straight. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready to fear the straight shot no more, grab yourself an inner core. I mean, yeah, like we said it once in this video, we'll say it again. It is flat and straight, so it's a flat and straight hole. Why don't we just, you know, intercore it right in the ace. 
Be that guy. Oh, two in a row. Just go in, just go in. Help a brother out. Hole seven, common question. Does it die? Yes, yes it does. Like I said, it's a premium plastic. So it actually takes dye incredibly well. One really cool thing about them, and another effort to be one of the most amazing companies ever, Trash Panda realizes that although the stamping process creates some really cool effects on top of the disc, it is one of the most wasteful processes in disc production overall. So because of that, Trash Panda disc will not have a stamp on top. as a blank canvas for all of you amazing dyers out there, and yes, the disc will still be recyclable because you're dyeing the actual plastic. And because of that, all the information is listed on the bottom of the disc, and I would love it if you guys would join me in the petition to get Jesse to realize that every single one of his discs should have an O in the title because that is a super cool idea and how they use the injection points on the disc. All right, 153 feet. Really our last like seemingly easy chance to get the ace. Obviously the last two holes are gonna be aceable as well, but let's see if this is another resident of Heartbreak City or <laughs> is it going in? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Yep, nope, that disc is trash. I'm just kidding. It's actually, I'm not kidding. It, it is actually trash. Not in the like metaphorical sense of, oh, you should never throw this, but like as in, it's now my treasure because it was someone's trash. That is an unspoken benefit of using the inner core though, is the fact that if you throw a bad shot or something like that, you really can say, hey, this disc is trash, man, come on. And uh, yeah, you're just being 100% honest and eco-friendly and throwing the sport sustainably and getting birdies. Is there anything to lose? Now I realize for some of you, these little touch shots and putter shots I've been doing aren't really your cup of tea. You've been asking one big question the entire time, and that is quite simply, Hey, Mr. YouTube man, does it bomb? Does it go super far? And to answer that, I don't know. What do you think, Abdul? Can you give us a quick number crunch? Uh, yeah, give me a second. I'm getting 32.33 repeating, of course. Time's up, let's do this. Look y'all, I'm out here to deliver the truth and nothing but the truth. I am trying to say at one point in my life, I did enter a putter distance competition against some of the internet's best disc golf content creators and I came in second place. That was before I found the trash pan in her core. If I had this disc now, watch out Mikey. First place guaranteed. It's always important to give reference to how far distances actually are. This hole is over 330 feet. Yeah, that's right. Inner core. I'm not a bomber. I'm no Jesse, a trash panda. But with the inner core, you too can unleash your inner beast. So the final question and the one we obviously had to save till the very end, when can you get your hands on a trash panda inner core? The easy answer is incredibly soon. In just four simple days from the release of this video, that's right, November 7th, 2022, you can grab your very own trash panda inner core and not only change your disc golf game, but change the world through disc golf to become a better place. That's right, B for Vendetta. 5th of November, never heard of her. Remember, remember. The 7th of November. I'm not trying to put any pressure on myself, but we have birdied eight of the nine holes, so yeah. Let's uh let's keep the perfect video intact. That'll do, Piggy. That'll do. Sorry, Jesse, it's a habit. There we go. One last chance for perfection. One last chance to hit him with it. No pressure. We'll call that one user error. Promise it wasn't the disc. It was your boy. Rubbicy. While my hopes and dreams of having a perfect putting video died on that last hole, your hopes and dreams of having a fantastic disc do not have to go away. Make sure November 7th you head over to trashpandadiscgolf.com and grab yourself your very own inner core. I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you to Jesse for everything you do for this channel and as well as the sport overall. You really are just an incredible human being and I'm so excited for the future of Trash Panda and where you take us all. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you guys for your continued support. I hope you have an amazing rest of the week and I hope you make it fantastic for someone else too. But for now, I'm going to leave you with the birdie.